find your lack of faith disturbing. Perhaps you are not as strong as the Emperor thought. Disclaimer. This Karen video compilation is meant to be the day in the life of a Karen and or her Karen family. The content creator's narration is meant to reflect that and sometimes gets karen -y to emphasize it. The videos used are taken from other sources which get them from other sources. This is YouTube after all and not everyone can go out and search for Karens to record to get their content. If that is a problem for some, please see the copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, which defines fair use. The content creator's narration and commentary is used primarily for satirical purposes. The content creator narrator reserves the right to be critical where needed. The videos used may or may not be of entitled people and or people behaving badly and may be staged for their own satirical or other purposes. The content creator narrator is in no way attacking any person or persons in the videos personally. A comment from the official trailer for episode 7. Every video is from Karen's in the Wild, an established channel on YouTube. The only thing here creative is the haha -ha Karen with the accompanying photo. It's the best part of the channel, yet I'm sure it's even ripped off from someone. I like the idea, yet why watch another channel's content here when the whole collection of videos are on the correct channel? Karen's in the wild. Seems lazy. Was almost a fan until I saw the watermark. Thumbs down. Ha <laughs> ha, Karen! After an exhausting week of Karen and her family asserting their rights and being racist and sexist, it's time to go to Costco for some much-needed supplies. But, oops, her mask is nowhere again. Hey. I have a Costco card. Okay. I didn't Ma check. Ma'am, listen. Hello? Hello? I didn't sign this. So, I didn't wear a mask okay. in my policy. I uh, have a membership. It has nothing to do with the mask. This is the person acting you as an agent of the, the property. Mask. He has a right to press value. No. No, no, no. Okay, so, like I said, can you scan they're, your card? They're advising they want you to press out from the property. Please begin scanning. Please wait. Help is on the way. So, do you understand that they could prosecute you for trespassing? You know how many times we've been through this? I don't know, I've never met you guys. Yeah. You out. should know my name. I've never met you. I'll throw it out. The user has been logged, so you guys can shop again. Okay, don't have valid memory. Okay. Sure. Okay. I, I can't wait. 13 and 23. That's going to be 37. So I'm just making it clear that I've left 40. That was my product. This was my product. And this was my product. Hey, you can't take those out of the store. I sure the heck did. That's legal tender in this country. Do not put your hands on me. We will make a problem. Do not put your hands on me. That's legal tender in this country. Do not even come near me. This is my personal space. Back up. Back up. I mean it. Back up. I have not hurt anyone. Stop telling me what to do. You are not the boss of me. God tells me what to do, not you. Back off. I paid. No. Do not put your hands on me. Stop. Both you are stop. a masked man with a weapon. Stop. This is harassment. Both of you are going to be detained if you don't stop. Stop. You, stop, you stop, stop following me. I haven't done anything wrong. Okay, stop. Stop. You're detained right now. You do not have the right you to detain me. Police. You're detained. No, I have done nothing wrong. Okay. I have not committed a crime. You can't leave the store right now. You're detained. You do not have the authorization to detain me. Are you comprehending this? Do you have a receipt? Left my money back there. Yeah, go ahead, go. The f I am!
Oregon Cross for the Dakota Field. What's your badge number? Everyone in San Diego knows who I am. Four zero six seven. Right now. Four zero six seven. No, we're not. We have not done any. We have not committed a crime. Okay, back up. Make room. Karen. While Karen is busy with the policeman, her sister Karen with an I is busy outside with some other customers preaching the dangers of cell phones. No, 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 no. You, you, you want to do them. We'll just go whatever. yell at people. I don't right. care. We'll just go yell at people. I know you don't, don't care because you're literally making I don't care. Oh. You're a millennial. Just die. Huh? Just die. Well, you'll die before me. Um, <laughs> no, no, you will. Yeah. And your brain is going to after Because you're a me. neuropsychologist who knows nothing about neuroscience. But guess what? Guess what? And Dude. you're gonna go around preaching misinformation. Guess what? I'm older than you, so I had a longer life. Huh? You're, you're gonna That's have a how that works. Life. And that's sad. Because we weren't exposed to this. Protect yourselves. Protect your body. Protect your brains. Okay? Okay. See, protect our air. That's good advice. Every if time, you had led with that instead of I'm a fake neuroscientist, look, every time, I probably would have listened. Okay, every time these wires go up, they're frying us, they're frying the trees. Says who? They're trying. Me. But again, what makes you an authority on anything? Why would you I have to it. listen to you? You, you feel it. What does it feel like? No, everyone feels it. What does it feel like? If everyone feels it, what does it feel like? Well, I'm sorry you don't feel it. Okay, but, but, um, okay, but again, it's a simple question. Like. Maybe I'm not, maybe I feel it and I don't realize it. So why don't you tell me, in your medical professional opinion, okay. what does it feel I, like? I feel the ringing, the ringing in my ears. Okay. Do you feel ringing in your ears? No. no. Okay. I feel the ringing in my ears. Um, you can have numbness in your hands and your feet. Okay, well, that's never happened. Okay. That well, like maybe not yet. Other underlying medical problems. Maybe I'm closer think to about that. I'm close. I'm very close to the wires. Well, why are you close you to the wires? On San Joaquin. Then you should probably move. Right. And the cell towers are pointed towards my um, my apartment. But I'm just if I'm using myself as an example. How did this get brought up? She came up to me when you guys went to the coffee shop, and she said that I, my blue waves are harming other people. Yeah, I like Pete. Probably best to stay indoors. And it's a problem. I think that was the exact I think we should leave. Yeah, I think so too. Ha Karen! After preaching about the dangers of cell phones and after bailing her sister out, Karen and Karen with an I were hangry. So they decided to stop by Jack in the Box for some food. But the first Jack in the Box they went to was very disappointing. So they decided to go to another Jack in the Box and try their luck. Don't leave this parking lot. I want you to call the police. Okay. No, the cops will be here in a minute. You're f***ing rude. You're f***ing rude. Excuse me. Are you the manager? We're at Jack in the Box. We ordered some food and our food is cold. And this is the behavior that we are getting from the employees. And I'm not leaving until I get my money back. Okay, that's fine. You just call me an idiot. Like, who, like, who you call me an idiot? Well, you know what? You insulted us. And you using all types of foul language like you do disrespectful for no reason. Now, one person would disrespect me the whole entire time. I want my money back. Well, the disrespect was that spoken. Please give me my money back. Please give me my money back. Please give me my money back. You were acting like. Here. I said you were acting like. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The customer is always right. Don't you? Didn't you take customer service? Don't you know what customer oh, service is? Uh, oh, you. I'm not a customer. Okay, I just gave you money, and I want my money back now. Why do you use foul language? Like, what is wrong with you? Like, what is your problem? Like, 
This Jack in the Box and the previous Jack in the Box that I was just at, apparently y'all don't know how to do your goddamn jobs. You did not make my food fresh. Those fries are f cold. Okay, do you want more fries? No, I want my money back. Okay. You didn't give us a fucking receipt. I'm not going to pass it out. There is no I'm not moving until I get a fucking receipt. I want my money back. They're rude. They're ignorant. My food is fucking cold. I'm fucking pissed. I've been recording this whole thing. I want my fucking money back now. I don't need to come inside. I got the police on the phone right now. I got the police on the phone right now. So I can either get my money so that I can go to work. We would have the screen to give them the business. They didn't give us one. We don't have one. Well, first of all, had they not been rude to us to begin with, we wouldn't have been cussing and rude and that to your minors. They, they, they were rude to us. I asked for my money back. I should be able to get my money back. I'm an unhappy customer. I did tell them to go get you. No, they didn't. It's not an emergency. This is a non-emergency line. But I'm at Jack in the Box right now, and we're having an issue to where um, our food is cold, and they won't give me my money back. Okay, where are you at? Jack in the Box on uh, Bayless. Do you have an address? Um, what's your address? Oh, it looks, it looks like finally the manager is going to come out here and give us our money back. Okay, do you have one officer? Oh, we don't know yet. Um, I don't know yet. They're, they're just very rude here. This is the second f check in the box I've been to today. Graham, do you want to have that officer? No. Okay, so you don't need a police? No. Okay, have a good day. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha, Karen! While at Jack in the Box asserting her rights as a customer, Karen's daughter, Karen with a C, was at the local Walmart fighting for her rights as a customer. She yeah. acting. No, please don't, no, please we, don't. We do not know her at all. No. They were arguing and somebody else said he told him to leave once and she was over here and she done threw alcohol all over her. Like she threw alcohol all over her. Like we really need oh, them here don't. right now. Please don't. Please don't.
You stay over here. You stay over here. She took off her shirt. No, she took off her shirt. She got pink pajamas on and striped black on. Come on, let's go correct, bitch. Ha ha, Karen. Well, wouldn't you know it? Karen's nephew is a First Amendment auditor. While he was busy at the local post office recording in the lobby, he was confronted by a woman that didn't want to be recorded. Why don't we just go to the what rules? The rules? Show me. The, okay, I'm going to show you the rules. Okay, so I, I'm, and they're on the wall. You see? Say it. He's right. He's right. Hi. Could you please explain this um, this lady that we have the right to video record in the lobby? Uh, he can. She can I video asked record. Him very nicely to not record me. You're in a public place. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> that's, that's Thank you. And right. There's no reason. There's no. You don't have that right to privacy when you're in a public place. Oh. oh. That's all. Thank I mean, that's you. All. You just... you are the man. You are the man. Well, What's your name, sir? Just don't interrupt. I no, no, no. Don't interrupt my, no, no. I'm just I'm just and... really happy to have you here. What's your name? Okay, my name's Craig. Cra right. Postmaster Craig. Mm -hmm. Craig, you're you're an example. Thank you for having. Ha <laughs> ha, Karen. As that was happening, Karen's niece was on the subway asserting her right to take up two seats, and ignore everyone that was standing around looking for a place to sit. Karen. 
On that same train, another Karen, not related, thought the train was her land for some reason and was asserting her right to be a racist. Home, go back to Africa, go back to China. Jesus Christ. Oh God, enjoy when you go viral on social media, bud. Keep talking! You're on my f***ing You're an idiot! You're You're part They don't give a about you! Go back to Africa! Go back to China! Until they suck my f***ing you dumb bitch! Get the f*** out of my f***ing state! You're my f***ing body! Talk shit to me! You're the reason I don't have She's being racist! Oh my god. Do something. You're on my fucking line. And you're gonna be in custody in 15. Ha ha, Karen! Not all of Karen's family acts like her. Amazingly, one of her sons is immune to Karenness, and knowing how his family is, always delights when he can tease Karen's in the wild. It's about to be a what? A cat fight? Oh shit. Get that. Stop. You guys, stop fighting! Ha <laughs> 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 ha, Karen! 